Hello everybody, this is Jaren from marineandreef.com. Today we're doing a product spotlight on these ISTA all-in-one CO2 diffuser sets. These are a great option for people who are interested in CO2 but are intimidated by some of the multiple hundreds of dollars fancy full-on CO2 sets. Just a brief refresher of why you'd want to add CO2 to your aquarium. If you have a planted aquarium with live plants, those plants photosynthesize to get their energy. And just a brief refresher of what photosynthesis is, basically it's the process of using light energy to turn water and carbon dioxide into simple sugars. So land plants have plenty of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, but we give them water so they can photosynthesize. Likewise, water plants in our aquarium have plenty of water in the aquarium, but they are often laugh, uh, lacking in CO2 because the water doesn't hold that. So by adding the CO2, we can really help them photosynthesize and grow. So with this ISTA CO2 diffuser set, you're going to get a few things out of the box. The first thing is going to be a CO2 can. This is what's going to hold the compressed CO2 gas. It basically just looks like a shaving cream can. The next thing is some tubing. This is going to be used to direct the CO2 from that can into the aquarium itself. And the last two parts are going to be a CO2 diffuser and a check valve. The check valve is going to make sure that the CO2 goes one way, out of the can and into the tank, and that no water goes back into the can ruining it. And then the diffuser is going to be placed inside the aquarium and it's what helps dissolve the CO2 into the aquarium water so that the plants can use it. We're going to briefly show you how you assemble this kit and use it on your aquarium so it can hopefully make things easy for you. The first thing we're going to do assembling this all-in-one CO2 diffuser kit so we're going to take a length of our hose and cut it using a pair of scissors. We're going to attach the one end to the can itself over the barb. And the other end is going to go to our check valve. This is what, um, again, makes sure the CO2 goes in one direction. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there is an arrow on the check valve showing which way it's installed. We want to make sure that the check valve goes in the direction of the CO2 flow. So in this case, the arrow needs to be pointing away from the can. What you're going to do first is remove the little locking nut and push it over the tube. Then push the tube over the hose barb and pull it back and screw it in place just to hold the tube nice and secure. We're then going to take the rest of our hose and repeat that process. So we're going to undo the nut. Slip it over the hose, push it over the barb, and then screw it back down. The last thing we need to add is going to be the CO2 diffuser hood itself. This comes with two suction cups, which you simply push on. And I find it easiest to first place the hood inside the aquarium. The hood is going to need to be completely submerged, but as long as it's submerged, it doesn't matter how high or how low it is. Then we're going to take our tube and slip it over the barb on the hood. All right, so now that everything is in place, we're going to go ahead and add CO2 to the diffuser. So on the CO2 can, there's a little bit of a protective cover. We're going to remove that and just press this button on top. You may notice we're starting to see gas build up in this hood here. We got some CO2 bubbling up. So what will happen is this gas bubble we just pumped in is going to slowly dissolve inside the aquarium. And as it dissolves, we're going to notice it come up and then press this button on the top once again. We generally find you need to refill the hood with CO2 about once to twice a day. As it dissolves, again, once you notice it up, you're just going to press the button and refill it. By doing this once to twice a day, these cans typically last just about 
one month to a month and a half, and then you can go ahead and swap the can out. Now we're gonna show you the can refills and how these would come when you purchase them. So once it's time to replace the CO2 can itself because it's been completely exhausted, you don't have to purchase a full diffuser set. ISTA also sells a refill pack. This refill pack includes three cans. It's just the can, it doesn't include the other parts like the hose, check valve, and diffuser. This package is right about $16 on marinadreef.com, whereas the complete set is $13 which makes it a great way to get into the CO2 without spending a lot of money. Again, we'd recommend one can for about 15 gallons of water. If you have a larger aquarium, you can use multiple. And once you've tried this diffuser, you can determine whether it's worth going to one that's a little bit more advanced. If you have any questions about these ISTA diffusers or any other CO2 questions, you can feel free to reach out to support at marineandreef.com.